How Solar Panels Work A solar panel is made up of solar cells that are often bundled together in the panel into solar modules. A typical solar panel is made up of 60 or more individual solar cells. A solar cell is built with an upper layer and a lower layer, just like slices of bread on a sandwich. The photovoltaic effect describes the ability of some materials to emit electrons when exposed to light. Most solar cells are made primarily of silicone, which is a semiconductor, meaning it can conduct electricity. The two layers of silicone in a solar cell are referred to as the N layer, which has a negative electrical charge, and the P layer, which, you guessed it, has a positive electric charge. When sunlight enters the cell, the photons pass through the N layer carrying their energy with them. The photons then give up their energy to electrons in the lower P layer. Those electrons then use the energy given to them by the photons to jump across into the N layer. That results in the N layer emitting those electrons into the circuit, producing electricity. The solar cells within a solar panel are wired together in series and each raises to the ultimate voltage output of the panel. A typical solar cell produces about 0.46 volts, but there are several different kinds of solar cells, so actual power output will vary according to the type of solar cells used to build the solar panel. The last step is the inverter. Solar panels produce DC power. An inverter is required to change that DC power into AC power used by the lights, appliances, and even battery chargers in a house. Once that power is distributed to the house, it is the same or higher quality than the power coming from the utility grid, 